Hi everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. So today is Tuesday and I am um, not feeling overwhelmed but I have a lot on my plate. And part of that is because um, I did start doing live sales maybe a week or two earlier than I maybe would have been ready for. And that's fine. Um, but the best way for me to do this is just to tell you guys now like this in hopes that a lot of people see this. And that is um, I am really trying to get caught up. Um, with the shipping. I went to get bubble wrap today. Um, I have boxes ordered. I have used a lot of the boxes. I, I've used most of the boxes that I have and um, I, I'm trying to get organized. Um, I guess this is just me kind of saying please bear with me. Um, please keep buying from my sales and I will just you know combine shipping if I haven't already sent out something. Um, I sent out a bunch of stuff last week and I still never even got to send out confirmation no or tracking numbers and people have already gotten things. Um, I want you all to know that my that's not going to be my style. I intend to send tracking numbers. Um, I did it the first week when I was sending and then things just kind of got like, uh, what's the word? Not an avalanche, like snowballed. Things just kind of snowballed, snowballed. Um, I'm all right. There's nothing wrong. I'm great, actually. Um, today is going to be a day where, like it already has been, I got a lot done. Um, I did a haul that I'm about to show you. <sighs> Probably the biggest Goodwill haul I've had in, I mean, forever. Like, I don't know if I've ever had such a big haul. But um, I'm going to do this and I'm going to release it right away because... I haven't put out a new video in a couple days. I'm also working on my Q&A. Um, and I'm not trying to put you guys off. I just don't want to do it and then be like, um, mm, uh, uh. So I started working on it when my friend was in the hospital and I was writing things down and talking it out. And I was like, okay, well, I need to be at home and try to think some of this through. Uh, I need to be around my things, okay? And now that I am, like, I see certain things that are, like, my answers to some of the questions. So, that being said, there's a very good chance that that video could be out tomorrow morning. I'm not making promises, but I am going to try. Um, so, as far as, like, what I was saying is um, I am really trying to get stay going with the uh with the the shipping and everything and uh I am just apologizing profusely to you guys for not doing things in a timely manner because that's not very professional and um I have always um worked with a great deal of integrity in uh what I do and this is no different I um, am trying to get to where I need to be. Um, that means I need to kind of breathe and organize. And that's what I'm trying to do today. So um, Thursday's sale, I feel like I will have a better handle on my layout, so to speak, of how I'm going to handle things. So you're not seeing my... Um, and my um, top of my head or my roots or my backside. Um, I hope to be, you know, in my spot and only have to do some slight reaching, um, uh, more or less. <laughs> so, um, you can continue to expect the usual me. There's nothing different there. I'm just, uh, keeping it real, you know, I'm being honest and, um, just telling you that it bothers me more than it bothers you. I know you want your things and I, it just drives me nuts that I can't do 18 things at once. Um, it's funny to think that back when I had a day job, I sometimes think I got more done then. I don't know how, but, um, anyway, I'm 
trying to make my new normal into more of a routine, if that's possible. And um, so it's just, it's just, I, I'm happy. And uh, I just, you know, I have kids and I love my kids more than anything. And they're grown, but, you know, we all live in the same house. And they're noticing that, like, it's not like Hoarderville around here at all. But, you know, when they're 18 and 19, they think it's Hoarders. So, anyhow, let's just cut to the chase and do the fun stuff. I have a great haul. And some of these things are going to be me, mine. But I think um, the majority is going to be in Thursday sale. <laughs> so, on with it. This thing, I, this is just the weirdest, like, I don't, oh, it was sold by Aldi. Okay. Well, okay, look, I like to sell vintage and I, I like to sell cool things. So every single thing is not vintage, unfortunately, boho stuff. It, it's, you know, like a lot of it's home done and a lot of it is um, tweaked. You know, it's what you make of it. And I don't, like, there's no rule that say you have to do stuff a certain way. Anyway, maybe some of you have seen this at Aldi. Super cool. It's a burlap banner. Okay. I mean, I think it's awesome. It's the kind of thing that I wouldn't mind keeping if I didn't sell it. But I'm, I'm intending on selling it. That being said, I am very doubtful that I would ship it like this because it's massive. Um, it The back is like felt. So my thinking is that it is, I mean, it's like attached, you know, in like three, four, five, probably eight places on this thing. And my thinking is I would just detach it and fold it. And it would be fine. I think it's really cool. Really cool. And I can't believe I didn't see that it said Aldi on there. It said Huntington Home. And I was like, mm, this looks like a sample board. I mean, it was just weird the way it was. So, let's hit it. This thing, I know there's a salt and pepper. Maybe somebody sold it in a recent sale. I've Or I've seen it in a haul. I'm not even sure. This is uh, by... Saint Labor, Saint Labor, Indian School, Ashland, Montana, five nine zero zero three. I don't know. Um, it gives me, like, it gives me um, Tupperware vibes. Maybe because I have that <laughs> that thing that had the celery salt or whatever in it. Anyways, there's that. It's like a little teepee in a cloud and then there's that and I think that might be like a moose or, or an elk or something anyway it to me is very um you know 70s this thing I think is super cool I mean no, no, Bella no, oh my daughter's no, no, so no, it's a candle no. holder and it's this, I think it's boho all day long. It's just, look, turn it. It's got earrings. Turn it. It's got earrings. Turn it. It's got earrings. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's three faces. It's wooden. It's not like too, too heavy really, but it's a nice substantial piece. So I think that's neat. And you will see that Thursday. So then I found one piece of silverware and Katie, I promise you, girl. Oh, say hi to Hey Brie. Comfy cozy daughter. My Rachel. My Rach. My June 6th Rach. So is Superior Girl Vintage is a June 6th Rach. We all care. She thinks nobody cares, but we all care, don't we? Alright, then Rach, do you want to make a pizza? You can. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to eat. Okay. Then there's this. I don't know. Uh, 
I mean, I think of carnival glass, but I don't know. I don't know enough about this, but I think it's really pretty. The rim, back, or down here, I guess, the base, it looks like it, it has like a goldish kind of rainbow iridescence. But this blue is so pretty. It's got like a starburst on the bottom. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, she's got, our dog is 50 some pounds. I, I ain't usually pick her up. So, my daughter is at home goods. Just worked all day. Don't expose my body. So there's that, super cute. This thing is heavy. Um, it's super boho. I got my boho pieces this, this week. It's from World Market, but I don't care. I would put this in my house today. I love it. All day long. Yeah. A little heavy, but I like it a lot. This is from me. I just bought one. Because I think it's cute and it's going to go on my, you know, my little snowflake garden garland display. They had a bunch of them. Um, you know, it's like, they're just cute and I didn't need to buy more. I really don't know that there's a, um, a lot of people out there other than me that like that. But anyhow, these two, oh my goodness. Okay, let me find the other one so I can kind of show these together. The funny thing is, these two things, I found them separately, but they are, like, to me, they're kindred spirits or something. One is a George, um, uh, I can never say, Briard. Yeah, I always say it wrong, but I think it's Briard. And the other one is, I think it's just, it's Japan. Yeah, it's Japan. Um, but look at these. They are separate, but to me, they, look. I mean, they have different handles. They have different bases. But that not as, not as much. But look at that. That is, that's a cool, um display right there. I I think these are really cool. I mean, I, I saw this one first and I grabbed it in, in a whole different aisle, as a matter of fact. And when I saw this, and I mean, I've seen that, that George Briard before. Um, I, I, I might have sold something with that or I might have something in my stash. I don't know. Um, but I mean, isn't that just that, that those, they have a uh, very similar vibes in my opinion. So I was going to try to do this so that I wouldn't have to have my head in your oh, view, but oh well. All right. I know people are going to love this little India box. Well, it's a little bigger than the ones I found the other day. Yeah. 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 Thursday. Oh yeah, this is a little something different. Um, I've been, in the past weeks, I've found a few items. Not like this, but like this. Of the same creature. And I resisted, and I don't know why, because I think a lot of people are drawn to these. And I have a feeling that you guys will like this as well. Um, I'm not really familiar with the pottery of it, what it is. Somebody's going to know, right, I'm sure, but it's in great condition. And it's the Flipper, Flipper. Oh, I love Flipper so much. Anyway, look at it. It even has a little, oh, it's so cute. Great dish. Great, great dish. So... This next piece, mm. I mean, you guys don't have to buy it because it's so cool, but somebody's going to want it. I, um, <laughs> I got charged for, for each piece. I don't know why. They said because it's two pieces, 
I'm like, they clearly go together. But I got charged for both of them. Whatever. Do I even have to say anything to that? I don't think so. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? I love this. I might have to pry this out of my hands on Thursday. I told you guys I had the haul. Now this is not my cup of tea, necessarily. And I want to undo this and clean it up, but I will. I mean, you know, not right now. Maybe. But okay, that's it. Will you be gone a long time, or? Was... Okay. I'm going to oh, okay. I was there this morning. Oh, I didn't ask. Uh, it's so cute. I just know somebody out there is gonna want this. Like it's, is it, I mean, it's an oil. Ooh, I won't get my finger stuck. It's a little owl oil lamp. I'm not sure how, what these kind of, I don't know that that's transfer wear or I don't know. Excuse me. It, it's dirty. I need to clean it. But it's so cute. And I don't remember if it said. No, nothing. It's nothing. And I don't know that it isn't, that it's anything to be honest. Okay. Um, yeah. Seems fine. I guess you just need to do the usual what you would do for that kind of thing. I I just think it's so cool. 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 It's cool. And it's different. And I found these. I don't know if I just love the box so much or what. But these, I don't know. No, the, co the colors are cool. I mean, you guys, I'm sorry, but wow, this container. It's, um, you have to like push it out. It's brand new. Look at these colors. There's that teal. And red and mustard brown. It's more of a mustard brown than a yellow. And then that blue. I mean, it's an odd combination. But, um, and it says Seagram's Canada. Yeah. They're cool. That's it. All right, next item is going to be for me. Did I keep any of that yet? Oh, just that one little Corel cup. Which I should, you know, set aside. So, um, I'm, yeah, I'm keeping this. I, I love this. I am going to, I think, try to use it over at my, like, little station and, um, try to keep some, try to get some semblance of order in my life. This, <laughs> um, It's like a, it's already a journal. Um, this paper is very neat, very cool. The, it's, it's already a journal. So, I, um, I just probably needs a little glue. I'm selling this one as this is. Um, I could easily add to this, but I'm not. Um. I think this is awesome. I like the way it's done. I kind of want to keep it. But I'm not. Whoever did it, it's cute. So, yeah. Very cute little um, pre-started journal or journal. This I got... Um, because I like the pink. I just think it's a cool like cover and it's got good Utawina. 
know, El Matador, Blow the Candle, Blue Eyed Gal. I um really just bought it because of the pink. Because I thought it was cool. But this is my favorite band. It's not my favorite song by them, but like I know nobody's gonna even know who this is, but I saw this and my like heart skipped a beat because it's so rare. I mean, you guys all know the song Signs because it was done by Five Man like uh, Acoustical Band. Five Man, Five Man Electrical. Oh, whatever. I don't care. <sighs> yeah. Uh, there, it's not even all the pieces. It's only part. But um, yeah. 1970. It says on here. But I mean, it was redone by uh, by. Tesla. Um, yeah. And the signs say long hair freaky people need not apply. So I took my hair up under my head and I went in to ask him why. I don't even need this. You said you look like a sign standing your man. I think you'll do. <clears throat> so I took off my hat and said imagine that. Me working for you. Oh, my son. Can I mind you guys? I don't know what this is, but it was giving me 70s vibes. And I had to buy it. So it says cut and sew kitchen coveralls. Matching covers for toaster, blender, mixer, light switch. And hot pad. <laughs> I am just dying for this. Okay, so that's the cover. Like, I'll, I'll put it back in the bag, you know. But you guys. Okay. <laughs> These colors. It's so funny. Do you see this? This isn't even the best part, okay? This is. Because look at that. It says... Directions for assembling toaster, mixer, and blender covers. Then down here, it's like directions for hot pad holder. And over here, it's the switch plate cover. Do you guys see these? Do you see this? I mean, this is just groovy, right? Tell me it ain't groovy. So... I mean, in the picture, she's doing one in green and blue. Those colors are way cooler than these, but I don't care. This is just, yeah, super groovy. Neato. Peachy keen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't really see stuff like that um, vintage in my store too often, I'll be honest. Um, I, oh, I should have found out. I don't even, there wasn't even a price on this. <laughs> so I wonder what I got it for. Anyway, look at it. It's so pretty. It's got like a little, um, like a little um, pagoda. And little uh, boy with a bucket, buckets, little butterfly, little Asian. It's like it's got Asian flair for sure. Little like ginger jar with flowers, uh, like a dragonfly and birds and yeah. I just think it's like got a Asian flair to it. Um. So and it's not huge, but it's I like it. Now these I am going to split up because I, it's a set of three. I don't know why. It's from World Market. I think this would be the best rug ever if it was like, or a carpet, you know. 
Anyway, it's a set of three, but I'm keeping one. So it's a set of two. And I'll be honest. I might sell them separately so that two different people can just each get one. Because to me, I wouldn't use it as a placemat. I'm going to use it as like, um, kind of like a runner or something. Just look, I'm going to tell you the truth. I could hang this somewhere and I think it's really cool. I just love this. I, I love, 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 love this very much. Dig these, um, colors. So, yeah, so I think it, it might, there might just be two of them separately so that two different people can get them. Um, my opinion, my thought process. This is an Avon tin. I knew it when I saw it. Not in it. I am not taking this lid off right now. I'll take it off during the sale, but not now. It took me forever to get it back on at the store. I don't know why. Oh, these are so cool. Do you guys remember these? Torino. Is that what it says on there? I didn't even see that before. And then here it says... Well, they're two different ones, I guess. One's silver, one's gold, I think. I don't know. Whatever. I can't even tell. Well, this one says USA V-E-R-E -E Manufacturing. It's a little frog and a mushroom. For your earrings. Remember these? I had a ladder. That, oh, God. If I found one of those, I would die. And then this one, it just says Torino. Hmm. I don't know. Mushrooms and a little snail. Aren't they cute? Guys. I, I'm telling you, I was like finding the, the things today. I was uh, definitely getting, um, not gonna put that there. Getting the goods today. And then this. Last, you got that little happy thing, and it's by Gans, and this is by Gans, too. It's just cute, and it's just something that I would even have in my house. It says, create your own little daily joys. It's just cute. And I, I love anything that kind of looks like mandala-ish, so I think that's neat. Just this little box, you know. They have stuff like this at uh, TJ Maxx. Um, this just says Gans. Woodstock, Georgia. Um, I mean, made in China, whatever. I hate that, but I mean, I'm rescuing it from the, what do you call a majiga? Um, landfill. Super cute. Not much left. I got a ton of playing cards. I was thinking about you, Laura and uh, Cindy. Now, some of these I might keep and some I might sell because I'm using them, you know, for my business. But I opened these and I counted them. And, I mean, some of these cards are stunning. So, these are, um, I'm not even, like, you'll see during the sale. I'll, I'll be, like, getting more deal t detailed. This is a uh, Scottish thing, deck of cards. These are Lassie. These are, I don't know if I looked at these. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I hope I can get this tape off. Well, of course, a little bit of that gold came off on the side. But um, They are, uh, and I was in high school um, when this happened. I remember this was a, a big thing. 
um, the, um, I think actually, um, there must have been a group of people that went. I think it was. Oh, see, just a little piece of that gold came off. Um, maybe it was my world history. I hated that guy. Oof. Um, anyhow, deck of cards, uh, that are from the 1982 World's Fair in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And why? I <laughs> just, I thought that they just pushed through. Holy. What's my problem? I think this, oh, there, here we go. Yeah, so the box just comes out. Very cool. Got some very cool deck of cards there. These are Skechers. Manhattan Beach, California. I don't know. I didn't even count these. If I, if I sell these in the sale, I will count them first. Um, some of these I just grabbed because I liked them, or I would be if I I would use them if there aren't enough cards. Um, these are not like playing cards, but I figured that somebody might be interested in these because I know a lot of people watch that CSI, and it's um, something has something to do with that CSI board game. I don't know. But it's all these cards. I don't know. I just thought somebody would be interested. I don't know. Even if it's part of a game, who cares? These are cool. They're for um they're Hawaii. Um these are it's a game of phones. And I think this is like a deck of cards that I'm just gonna use for my, you know, stuff because they're super cool um on the outside. They would actually be really cool for um journaling. And then like these things, it says most unread emails wins this card take a surreal photo um compose the message compose the judge a message and google translate it to a language of your choice um it's very different but um i mean i, I it sounds like the game of uh humanity or i don't know cards of you i don't know this i figured somebody was gonna like because it's called serious frogs playing cards um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, God, I, I bought a, I got a lot of these. This is cilantro something. I didn't even move the tag today. Pineapple cilantro. I don't know. I just knew it smelled good. Hmm, yeah. 50 cents for four cubes. So that was good for me. And then... These are uh, the polar bear, that Coca-Cola kind. I counted those. And then this last, oh no, it's not the last. Oh, this is a brand new deck. These really, I thought, were M M M or, uh, Mimi's Treasure Cottage, Cindy would like. And then there's this other deck. Um, they're um, they're f from a company. <laughs> I thought that if you're a collector of cards, this might really appeal to you. Um, because these cards are, um, from this company in Shawano, Wisconsin, which is up north, and they are for, um, cemetery markers. <laughs> it says, mark every grave. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. These are, go ask your grandparent. I might just sell these as a deck too because I thought that there are a lot of people that are grandparents on my channel and it says like name three things you are thankful for or what is the motto that you've lived by lived your life by so I thought that would be kind of neat a little something different I know a lot of times people are um, babysitting their grandchildren especially now during the pandemic and that's it you guys I told you it was a lot um it was a great haul. Very good haul. So, anyhow, um, I think everything is, uh, most of the stuff is going to be in Saturday, uh, in Thursday's sale. So, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that. Please give this uh, video a thumbs up if you uh, like it. And um, I certainly hope you do. Please leave comments down below on what you're hoping to um, maybe have a shot at in Thursday's sale. And uh, share this channel with anyone you think might enjoy it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.